First, open your sketchbook app on your iPad. Next, start a new sketch and make sure you hit the Create button to get a blank page. Now go to Google and type in the word flower. Do not add an S on the end of the word or you'll get many flowers together. We want a picture with a single flower. Once you have chosen a flower that you like, hold your finger on your iPad and save the image to your photo library. Now go back to your sketchbook app and import the photo that you've just saved to your photo library. You'll find that button on the top of your menu at the top of your iPad screen. Next we're going to add a tracing page. Notice on the right hand side I have a blank box with a blue square around it. I move that box above the flower and that is going to be our tracing page on top of our flower. Now go to the menu on the left hand side and choose the pen. Make sure your color is black as we're going to start to outline the shape of our flower. Try not to leave any gaps as you're outlining the petals and the rest of your flower. Now that we have our flower traced, we are going to turn off the original flower image. Go to the right hand side toolbar and click on the eye on the flower image. It will turn off the image and you'll be left with your sketch. Now let's add some color. On the right hand side you'll see the color choices that you can choose. Choose a color that you want. Next, go to the left hand side and choose the paint tool that you would like to try. On the first petal I use the spray can, the next petal I use the larger brush, and then another petal I'm using a smaller, thinner paintbrush. You can choose one of those tools, or you can choose my favorite tool which I find the easiest, which is the paint can, which is the fill button. When you use the fill button, you click on a space and it will fill that entire space with the color you want. Now that our flower is painted, we're going to add a background color. And we're going to do that on another layer. So we're going to add another blank page and we're going to turn off the flower. On the blank page, we're going to choose a color and then we're going to hit the fill button and it will fill the whole background. I've chosen blue and now my background is blue. The final thing I'm going to do is move the flower on top of my background and turn my flower image back on. Now my flower is on top of my blue background. The final step I'm going to do is I'm going to choose some tools, maybe the smaller paintbrush, and I'm going to add some highlights like this. Just add a little bit of color, I'm going to add a little bit of black dots, and when I'm done I'm going to save my image to my photo library, and that's where I'll be able to find it and share it with others. There it is.